For the fourth consecutive year, India fell sharply in the Global Press Freedom Rankings report released annually by media watchdog Reporters Without Borders, dropping 11 points to occupy 161st place out of 180 countries. India now stands behind outright authoritarian regimes in Afghanistan, Libya, and the United Arab Emirates, and a mere 19 spots above the dictatorship of North Korea. A lawmaker from the Hindu supremacist Bharatiya Janata Party threatened that dissenters against Modi's India will be killed in extrajudicial encounters during an election rally in Karnataka state. BJP leader Basan Gudap Patil Yatna also issued a direct threat to Muslims calling for those who speak about Hinduism to be shot. <laughs> Four Hindu nationalist workers attacked Muslim student Muhammad Parish with a hot iron rod, punishing him for talking to a female Hindu friend. Parish was hospitalized afterwards with severe injuries. The attack falls into a broader pattern of violent, in some cases lethal attacks on Muslim men by Hindu nationalist groups in order to stop interfaith relationships, which they call love jihad. Hindu extremists and cow vigilantes attacked four truck drivers who they suspected were Muslim cattle transporters in Kisangar, Ajmer. It turned out that the drivers were all Hindu men who had purchased cattle from a fair. <laughs> Members of the Hindu extremist organization Badrang Dal attacked Congress politicians and vandalized their offices in Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh. The violent attacks, which included pelting the offices with stones and chanting Jai Shri Ram, comes in retaliation of Karnataka's Congress Committee stating its intention to ban the terrorist organization. An incendiary film portraying Muslims as terrorists has been released in India in spite of legal objections raised by leading Kerala politicians. The film, entitled The Kerala Story, had initially falsely claimed that 32,000 women were converted to Islam, radicalized, and then deployed in terror missions in India and around the world. The chief minister of Kerala state has slammed the film, calling it anti-Muslim propaganda. Members of the Christian community who congregated for prayers at a house in Chhattisgarh were attacked by Bajrang Dal members. The attackers chanting Jai Shri Ram disrupted the prayers, alleging that they were forcing people to accept Christianity. The Indian American Muslim Council welcomed the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom's decision to recommend India as a country of particular concern for the fourth consecutive year. A CPC is a designation reserved for the world's worst violators of religious freedom.